Israel and Hamas have agreed to a three-day ceasefire as part of an unconditional humanitarian truce called for by the U.S. and United Nations. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry said he hoped it would lead to a permanent ceasefire after the death toll reached 1,400 since the conflict began last month. Stephen Durack, spokesman for UN Secretary Ban Ki-moon, outlined the agreement. Secretary General Ban Ki-moon and United States Secretary of State John Kerry announced that the United Nations representative in Jerusalem, Special Coordinator Robert Seri, has received assurances that all parties have agreed to an unconditional humanitarian ceasefire in Gaza. We urge all parties to act with restraint until this humanitarian ceasefire begins and to fully abide by their commitments during the ceasefire. This ceasefire is critical to giving innocent civilians a much needed reprieve from violence. The 72-hour truce began on Friday at 8 a.m. local time, but in the early hours, Israeli cannons were fired towards Gaza. While a ceasefire has been agreed, it might not last beyond the three-day period, and fighting could resume again.